Okay, this is a very quick demo of how to do a basic sequential render in 3D Studio Max. So what I just did was I created a box. I am going to animate this box for no reason. Uh, so that we have um, something sequential uh, going on. Uh, so I'm just going to move it. So now it's traveling from here to here. So I got 100 frames of animation. So to render this, I am going to click Render Frame Window. And uh, now I am going to also click Render Setup. So, and from here, I can tell. Oh, right. You can't see it there. So from here, I can tell um, that I wanted to render it as a sequential files. So I'm going to go here and say files, and uh, I'm going to go here and say I want it to be QuickTime. I am going to put it on my desktop and call it render test. Render test. I'm going to say save. Okay. All right. So now it's tell tell me to pick up a compression. So I'm going to choose this compression. Um, look like it worked. Um, so and uh, now I'm going to check setting. Uh, at the area uh, to render and output size so it's going to be 640 by 480 which is fine and uh, right now it says here time output single so I'm going to change that from single to be an active time segment so and that's it now I'm ready to go so there is a render button all the way at the bottom right here so I'm just going to hit it and it's going to go and blow through my renders real quick. My box should move. Um, so slowly moving. You also can see that I'm rendering perspective view. Um, the viewport uh, label is right here. Okay, so and I'm done rendering and I guess what I should do is I guess I should find uh, the quick time that I just rendered and play it just to prove the point that it worked so let's see so here we go render test double click Here we go. I have a moving box. So that's how you do a simple sequential render in 3D Studio Max.